Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my channel, um, Dance Music Tutorials, and subscribing to my videos. Um, so, I recently upgraded my Mac to an iMac and pretty much got it all hooked out and everything. I had to do that because I recently upgraded to Logic Pro 9. So, I was using Logic Pro 7, and you can check out my other two videos that I just put out in regards to um, what you have to do to get to where I am now. So, please look at the other two videos as well. Um, if you have a Moto 2 896HD or um, a Moto 2 maybe timepiece uh, MTP-AB. So both pieces of equipment didn't work um, when I installed them because the drivers were outdated. So I had to get new drivers from Moto 2. Um, in order to get the new drivers from Moto 2, a couple things you need to do is um, first you need to go out to Moto2.com. So I'm just going to open up a, a new window real quick and you can just whatever tu.com, enter, select it here. Um, okay, and then you can just do log in. So um, if you don't have an account, you are going to need to set one up in order to get a driver. So it already knows that um, I've already created my account, but you'll need to come in here and set up an account. So um, once you do that, log in. Once you're done logging in, um, you'll be taken to the download drivers view. Um, so another way you can do it is, um, the easiest way I found the drivers for the Mo2896 HD was I just typed in Google Mo2896 HD drivers Snow Leopard. And then I selected this link right here, Mo2.com. Are you ready to tame Snow Leopard? So I'm ready to tame Snow Leopard, so let's do it. So I selected, I selected the link and um, the question, you know, the answer I have is yes, I'm ready to tame this snow leopard because I really want to get my studio working. So um, basically, this is where you need to go to get the drivers that you're looking for um, for your Moto 8960 with snow leopard. Um, so I went ahead and installed um, Moto hardware device drivers are now available for the Mac um, OS X version 10.6 snow leopard for all Moto FireWire USB audio interfaces. So just come here and select download the latest installers here and let it do its business. So basically once that's done, shut, let the computer shut down and restart and then you'll be good to go. So that's the first step, okay? Once you're done doing that, um, you also need to install your MIDI timepiece uh, AV uh, drivers as well. So if you go over to the right hand side, you'll see under MIDI interface down here in blue, it says MIDI timepiece AV, click on it and select the little blue downloads button up here at the bottom. Okay, and then the one you want to select is the second one, which is, uh, let's see, make sure I'm giving you the right one. Yes, it's right here, USB MIDI uh, OS X drivers uh, and Clockworks. So just se select download now, and of course, just let it do its thing and shut down when you're done. Uh, restart it, and um, you're MIDI timepiece will show up in your MIDI audio setup. And please watch my next video for how, you know, how to set up your MIDI um, audio setup. So thanks for watching my videos and please subscribe. There'll be plenty more helpful videos just like this uh, in the future. So thanks again and have a great day.